the goals come fast and furious at the Top Soccer Jamboree. <laughs> Kids of all abilities get their turn on the pitch. It's, it's the best feeling ever. It's like just watching them play and have fun and just seeing the joy that it brings to them is like a different feeling than most other things. Welcome inside Vancouver Public Schools, I'm Nick Bowl. This weekend's event at the Salmon Creek Indoor Soccer Facility drew a big crowd of athletes, coaches and parents and it all started with one Columbia River High School student who wanted to give back. One by one, the athletes enter the arena. These young soccer players are paired with a buddy who will be with them all afternoon. Top Soccer is an outreach program that makes soccer available to kids of all abilities. Top Soccer is a pretty amazing program. Um, we get to impact lives in so many ways. Um, of course, the players who get to have a great recreational athletic out, uh, outlet. Most of all, we meet just amazing families, you know, who bring their kids every week and we become a part, an important part of their lives. So I've been playing Top Soccer ever since I was 12 years old. And I guess the thing that keeps me coming back is like all the buddies and how much fun it is. We're in between seasons right now, so typically there'd be no soccer. Enter Alex Harris. Alex Harris is a pretty amazing kid. Um, he is the state player of the year in soccer, but he's even a better uh, academic student and is obviously a great kid at heart. For winning state player of the year, Alex was given $1,000 to donate to a program of his choice. My cousin and some, one of my aunts is disabled, I figured, and I watch them all the time playing sports and having the joy that it brings them, and so I was like, why can't I give that joy back to the community of sports around me? Sports is something that brings people together and everybody enjoys, so their, their physical like abilities shouldn't hold them back from being able to enjoy that. In addition to his donation, Alex organized the Jamboree, drawing on his soccer community. It wasn't too hard to get enthusiastic volunteers. I cannot do this by myself and I don't have the reach that some of the other parents and organizers and things like that have so that all of them what were immediately on board and willing to help me do this is just insane and I can't give enough thanks to that. Among them the Skyview Robotics team which engineered a pneumatic kicking device for players in wheelchairs. With the push of a button kids go from watching goals to scoring them. I think it gives them the opportunity that they don't feel limited by the fact that they're in a wheelchair. They can still be part of a team. They can still experience something um, that sometimes society would say they couldn't, but it's great that they can. You could tell Carter was having a great time finding the back of the net over and over again. He can kick the ball in with his button. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> And it's amazing and they did this and I didn't have to fill out any paperwork and I didn't have to worry about it. I just showed up and they were like, just, yeah, we're going to do this. And it was just so cool. So, shout out to Skyview. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. It's so fun to see them smile and they love it. I've seen parents in tears because of it. It's just a great experience. After warm-up drills, kids put on jerseys for the real deal. In front of a crowd, players ran the turf in scrimmages. Kids of all abilities worked together to score. Experienced soccer vets like Alex and younger players learning the game. The sense of joy and hope was palpable. It gives me such, um, such a good feeling in my heart knowing that there is um, young adults and young people that are um, thinking about inclusion and um, I just, it just makes me feel really good about um, the world. If you want to learn more about Top Soccer, check out their website, salmoncreektopsoccer.org. And as for Alex, he's trying to select a college and has Ivy League schools already talking to him. Make sure you get out to River this spring to see him play before it's too late. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nick Bull.